Hello YouTube, hello eBay. This is my 1969 International Harvester 1300. It's a one ton regular cab dually. It's got a 12 foot flatbed on it. Those sides are removable. It is 31,000 original miles. Now keep in mind there's no way to prove those miles. Uh, but they are indeed original. The truck is running right now. The tires are new. The brakes are new. The doors open up, don't sag a bit. You can see the VIN plate there. You can see the rockers. are good. This is the 100% uh, complete original interior. Now those seats are uh, probably nothing you'd want to do your drapes in at your house, but back in the day I suppose they were considered quite nice. Uh, but it is an original seat here. Uh, original headliner. You can see the plastic things in the corner are for the visors. The dome light works. Everything in this truck works. Oh, other than the horn. Um, the horn does not work, although the knob's there. Holds good oil pressure, runs perfect. Wipers work. Uh, fuel gauge works. The radio turns on. Uh, you can see the light at night, uh, but no sound comes out. Do not know why. The blower works, and it's not squealy and loud like some of them can be. There's not a crack in the dash whatsoever. I do have the hard to find plastic piece that goes around that rear view mirror for the headliner and it also holds these uh, visors in place. You see the original headliner is good. It's got the original mat on it with the IH in it. It is a four speed, shifts and drives perfect, which I'll show you here in a second. Blinkers, lights, lows, highs, wipers, washers, choke, everything works. <clears throat> I'll take you to the back real quick. I rescued this truck from Eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, it was quite a drive out there. I live in Michigan. Brought it back here. Um, you see that bed is all steel and all these lights are completely rewired, uh, new brakes. I had a brand new trailer hitch installed and wired. I had a new electric brake controller put on it because I wanted to pull my antique tractors or a trailer and put a tractor on it. You can see the hitch assembly, hopefully you can see it. The original IH rear mud flaps. The rear tires are like new. Plenty of tread. No weather checking on the sidewalls. Uh, that's been undercoated. See the cab corners under the doors. Inside this door again opens up straight. Windows go down, roll down, roll up perfect. Uh, the rockers are good on this. Now there are rust areas, obviously. Uh, that's not rust through, it looks like paint peeling off. Um, inside of the door, heater box, and again the heat in the fan does work. Um, oh, that's the brake controller I had put in. Uh, works great. The rear glass, side glass, front glass, all perfect. Perfect. Side mirrors are original, International Harvester cab lights, and again, they all work. You can see right now it sits here running. I'll pop the hood for you real quick. Can do this with one hand here. This is the engine compartment. You can see under the hood. 
original. Uh, it's got rust on that hinge over there. Hopefully you can see. New battery, all new wiring, uh, valve cover gaskets, new alternator, new radiator hose, new fuel pump. Our carb's been rebuilt. It's just, it runs perfect. Uh, brakes are perfect. Hopefully you can see everything in there. Original uh, windshield washer bag. I do not know if it holds liquid. It doesn't appear to be any holes or anything in it. Uh, but it is there and intact. Grill's good. Bumper's good. Let me see how many minutes I'm at here. Five minutes. i got to wrap it up in a minute and a half. Um, I'll put it in gear real quick. I'm just on the farm here, so... It does... Uh, going to gear without any issue at all. Drives without any issue. See I'm driving right now. Um, does not leak. I take that back. It leaks through the front vents right there if you can see them. But I've got magnets that I stick over them so if it is to be outside I can cover those vents and then it won't leak in on the floor. You can see some of my other internationals here. That's a 62 that I have. That one's not for sale and not gonna be. Some of our tractors. Uh, that's the reason that this one's going. That's a fire truck. It's a 76 Cargo Star that I just bought and I'm gonna remove that fire bed and put a grain body on it. And I think this truck's value is about what I can buy a used grain box for and put on that um, but this truck whoever buys this is going to enjoy it uh, I was always going to remove the rear side wood and put uh, a tractor on the back it's my motor home we just got back from a show here in Michigan um, I was always going to remove the side boards and put like a cub or something on that flatbed and then haul a trailer <coughs> You know, them boards come off, uh, I think a cub or, or a C or an H would fit on that. And then haul a trailer with another one on it to shows and stuff. Or put an implement on it. But that's the truck. Uh, feel good about your bids. There's no reserve on it. It's going to sell for whatever it's worth. And good luck to you.